Annotation objects allow for one annotation object to be placed on top of another annotation object. In the detail that we see here, over on the right hand side, we can see that we have a break line up on top and a break line down below. Now these break lines are actually hiding certain things already, such as the bottom half of this doorway. It may also be hiding some of the extra wall over here on the left hand side. But the break line should really be hiding everything like we're seeing here on the detail on the left. And we can adjust that by selecting the draw order and adjusting those draw order properties. Start by selecting on the break line on the bottom. You'll notice that there's an option up here that says bring the front or send the back. Let's bring this break line to the front. So click where it has bring the front and bring the front. Click out here in the drawing area. And now we can see that everything that was on top of the brake line is now behind it because we brought the brake line up and to the front of the detail. Do the same thing with the line work that we see up here on the top. Select on the brake line, then you can bring it to the front. If you select send the back instead, that would mean everything that's currently hidden behind the brake line would now be sitting on top of it. That's not what we want to have, so we'll just select bring the front again, click over here, and now we can see that everything that was behind that break line has now been hidden. We have some extra line work over to the side, so to get rid of that, we'll just select on that line work, and you can either click on one and hit delete, click on the other and hit delete, or you can click out here in space, window around those two lines, then select the delete key on the keyboard to get rid of it. And now that we have the detail the way that we like it reproduced, we can get rid of the other detail over on the left hand side by clicking over here in space, holding the mouse button down, windowing around everything, then selecting the delete key on the keyboard to get rid of that extra detail.